So, I want to do a little bit more work on the world generation because I'm not really content with it. So, to do that, we're going to go into a new scene actually. And on this part, we're simply going to prepare the scene and on the next part, we are going to create all the, all the things and all the nice simulations we're going to have. So, this will be, let's call this simulations and open this up yeah we can save this in the scene and let's create an empty game object first of all I want my camera to be an orthographic and the main idea is that we're going to create a sprite well it can just be yeah it's just a sprite for now let's parent it under our main camera let's reset it and move the new sprite on top of that we don't care for lights or any of that sort and we don't also care about the skybox or anything like that and on our main camera we can also set the color to black okay so we get a black area on this game object then let's go into our script and let's create a new folder which we're going to call simulation First of all, I'm going to go and the first script we're going to to make is I'm going to call this simulation manager. Okay, let's open this up properly. Awesome. Delete all of this. I'm going to add a namespace over here. And what we need is that sprite renderer for the sprite so I'm going to call this world sprite and we need a few properties for example max height and integer max width let's assign something let's uh, let's do a 250 by 250 texture so on start Oops. we're going to make a new method create base so creating the base we're actually going to make a new texture which we can also save in here texture to d world texture and we can say world texture equals new texture to d max height max width okay now if you don't know this well textures are basically two dimensional array two dimensional arrays which uh, of course have information about the pixels they have in so what this line is going to do is going to create a new texture with this height and this width okay so this one uh, is going to be a square texture and to take the texture and actually assign it into the sprite uh, into the sprite renderer we have to create this as a sprite first of all to, for that to happen we need to create the sprite which we're doing this by calling the API for sprite.create the world texture then we need to pass we need to also create a rectangle because we also have pivots and all stuff like that but in our precise case we only need this so this will be max uh, width and this will be max height then we're going to pass that rectangle so the pivot for this is going to be at zero zero so that means bottom left okay after that vector 2.0 for the pivot and pixels per unit means that for one unit of inside unity we're going to have 100 pixels these are all by the default numbers 
we don't want to extrude and we want the mesh type to be a full rectangle if you don't have it as a full rectangle then unity is going to try and optimize and make the mesh a little bit more cleaner because we want to actually access the entire texture okay we want for all that to happen so we have our sprite now we need to actually assign this and that will be inside our world Oops. we have a naming conflict so let's name this sprite renderer sprite renderer dot sprite equals the world sprite of course we could just cut this entirely and delete this and just paste this in here okay same thing we don't really have to worry about accessing this sprite because we only want to be doing things on the texture okay so if we try this now of course we have to do this inside create base minimize open that up and let's create the simulation manager in here I'm going to assign the sprite renderer and I'm going to hit play okay so we see we have we now have our world obviously that's very very little so we could probably try something like a thousand uh, that's on the height so let's maybe give it a little bit more width and about half the height it does take a little bit but we see we have an error so well there is a bug in uh, 2018 probably in other versions as well and if the the texture we are creating for the new sprite is not uh, well, you know, it's not it's a, an orthogonal box. Okay, so basically, if the height is not the same, uh, the same amount as the width, you get an error. This wasn't uh, the case in previous versions because in my Lemix video, yeah, we could have done this uh, just as well. So anyway, let's say we want to have, yeah, okay, we're going to have to, let's leave it for now as a thousand by a thousand. And what I can do is go and actually create a new and open up MS Paint. Well, actually, let's do this in here. Okay let's find i think we have somewhere yeah the size and we have let's do a horizontal of a thousand let's not maintain the aspect ratio and let's say 500 over here okay what okay, yeah okay let's switch this to pixels thousand and five hundred okay so that will be can be the start of our world and i'm going to save this and i'll be back in a second okay so i have this as my base and we can enable from over here i'm going to switch the point to non-filter we don't want any compression as well we don't either want map maps or anything like that and I think if we switch this to sprite okay hit apply and this will probably work okay let's also enable read write enable okay so I'm going to close that and I'm going to go on to my simulation manager and instead of adding the world texture like this I'm going to have the sprite 
world sprite okay and instead of creating the world in here I'm going to delete that and I'm going to delete those two above awesome and we're not going to be creating a new sprite we're simply going to be assigning the sprite we have from there okay however I don't want this the actual sprite itself so I'm going to instantiate a new sprite wall sprite okay and just assign that the reason for that is if I do changes on this sprite it's actually going to change the texture we have onto onto the disk okay obviously we don't want that we still want to have the base on itself minimize that and hit play uh, we first of course need to assign the texture obviously we don't have anything signed right there so let's assign the base in here and hit play and we're going to see our world okay so let's say we do a for loop and on the x and on the new sprite dot texture dot width and for y new sprite dot texture dot height okay and we want we're going to do to take a random value with random dot range between 0 and 100 okay and let's yeah okay let's make this some slightly less uh, code so if a random range we get is lower than 50 let's assign on the new sprite on the texture dot set pixel okay and the pixel we want to set of course is the x and y and then for the color let's assign let's assign a red pixel so half of the we have half chances of setting a pixel to red after we do we do set all the pixels to actually see the changes we're going to have to set new sprite dot texture dot apply okay so the changes will actually take effect hit play of course it's going to take some slight less but as you can see we now have well it does have a noise but and it is a little bit larger than we need uh, I think we might have to use less and less from all of that but yeah as you can see we do have what we want and that is we have a texture that we can affect do changes over there and then find uh, fine tune our world generation okay so we can have biomes all that which is going to be uh, well you know which tiles are going to be water which tiles are going to be mountains and all that okay but all that will come later for now we're simply going to sit on this and stay here and on the next part we're going to start doing a little bit more world generation so as always you know what to do like subscribe and if you like to see more videos like this then consider support me on patreon so we can keep making all of these nice things i'll see you next time